Welcome back to another episode, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a while since we've done anything on the channel, except for maybe post a few pictures. But having said that, welcome back. Um, sorry for my absence. Uh, COVID hit. I become a dad. That's been really fun. A lot of work, but a lot of fun. <clears throat> um, let's see what else happened. Oh, we moved into a house, as you can tell. We've got everything organized, overland tools, everything, blah blah blah. But today's episode. We are going over something. Uh, the fourth biggest change to this channel is I sold the bass boat. It was going to cost more to fix it than it would have been for me to replace it with a boat that I've been wanting for a long, long time. Um, so, talked to the wife. I just got rid of the boat. Whatever money I got out of it, I was like, okay, I've got this much money. Someone else's problem now. So what we're going to do is we were going to go buy a boat. And the wife said it has to be under this amount of money a month. And as long as I get to pick the color, I said, fair enough. So we went down to the boat yard down there in Kima, Texas. And I came home with a Piranha Rasa 140. Sorry, a P140. And seam foam green. Love it. This, is, this boat's very, very simple. Um, there's not a lot to it. So this is going to be very, very fast. Uh, I got it because, you know, like I said on the basketball, you got a lot of working components, you got live oil pumps, you got steering fluid, you got all that stuff, and I just, I got tired of messing with it, and, um, yeah, so this is what we ended up getting. So, like I said, it is seafoam green, it's a piranha, um, I've got on the back, this is a Suzuki four-stroke, this is a 20 horsepower on a Micro Atlas jack plate, it does more than what I've ever, I could have imagined it done. Um, all I gotta do is put gas in. I don't have to mix two cycle or oil or nothing anymore. It's great. Uh, still got like four and a half hours. I got a break in on it before I take it and go get it serviced and get the break and oil replaced and all that jazz. Um, it is tiller. It's a tiller handle. Um, like I said, I didn't want steering fluid or nothing. And then here's how you shift it. Pull back, reverse, push forward, is forward. And then middle is neutral. Uh, I do have an extension. It's made for a trolling motor. I had a really hard time finding one made for this boat that was under 200 bucks. I think I paid $30 at Academy and kind of modified it to work for now. Um, also, this is new for me too. I have a polling platform. Never had that in my life. Never had a use for one until I moved to Texas. Um, yeah, so where we fish, it's so shallow that a trolling motor won't work so we got a push pull which as you can tell it's up there runs the length of my garage i have it put up on some hooks goes in between the garage door and the ceiling so it doesn't get damaged um, on top of the pulling platform it's got this really nice c deck type stuff that's really good it's got the logo embedded into it and then i have my little tie off rope here at the back so when i want to stop and focus on let's say we got a school of redfish in front of us I stabbed the push pole in it, bend it over at a 45 degree angle, tie off, and it will hold us there. Um, other than that, that's it for the back. Oh, I also have trim tabs. These are my trim tabs, and they are fantastic. I've never ran anything like it before. This boat will go in about four inches of water, and I have pulled it in about an inch and a half with me and a buddy. Um, moving on from the back, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. So, far as switches, there's only two on this boat, and I'm a huge fan of that because if something's wrong, it's either one or two. It's either this one, which is my uh, Atlas jack plate, goes up and down. This one's for my lights. On well, the lights on this thing, really, you only have uh, navigation lights. I don't have any kind of accessory lights put in there yet. And as you can tell, We do have the shark eyes, which I think is really, really cool. I've never seen that before till I moved into a skiff. Watch it for the decoys. Um, and on the other side, that is my stereo system. I, stereo system. I'm a big believer in music as you're running down the lake, which I think everybody should be and is for the most part. And I have two Clarion speakers up the front, which are plenty loud. And when I'm riding at the back, this is only a 14 and a half foot boat. Um, I can hear it plenty, plenty good as we're running. Um, there is a seat that you can sit on. I like to stand, so most of the time I don't bring that at all. And it did have a, uh, a grab bar 
place where it came with the cooler and some other stuff but i'm sponsored by bison so i got rid of the angle uh i don't like how the rods were vertically stored so i've ordered some horizontal rod holders i'm going to put a rod tube here rod tube there and then at the back i plan on putting a uh an led rock light like a rigid or something here it went over there to light the floor up and other than that that's that's pretty much it for the cockpit it's pretty empty i don't have the gunnels um because it took up a lot of space so i chose this option and i'm so far i've been happy with it uh, moving on up to the front this is the hatch there's no lid on it nothing it's just opening inside here i've got my eight gallon gas tank that motor wide open sips half a gallon per hour it is the most fuel efficient motor i have ever ran and since it's a four stroke there's times that i forget like if i like my old boat i would leave it idling when i go put my truck up so it'd warm up there's times when i do that with this one and i walk back down and get in it i don't think it's on and then i notice that it's running only because it's peeing and anywho back to the front uh, i got my gas tank uh, it's got a quick connect so i can remove the whole entire gas can or a gas tank, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a gas tank. I mean a gas can. I keep my uh, life jackets, uh, throw cushion, fire extinguisher. I keep all that up in here. And then moving on to the front deck, there's really not much here. It's, it's really plain and simple. I do like this little kick rail they have on the front. And then there's a flat spot. I'm gonna put a uh, quick release plate here. And then I'm gonna put one here at the back, right here. I'm gonna get rid of this cleat so that I can put a troll motor on the front or if I want to put it, I can put it on the back. I'll get into that later when we do that. That's for a different video. But um, I do use, instead of a casting platform, I'm just gonna use my uh, bison. It acts as a dual purpose. It's a casting platform and a beer cooler. Um, you do have your little tie off cleats from bison that you strap this down and it does not move. It does a tremendous job. And also on the front deck, which I do have one of these in the back. This is a Marine Co. It's just a plug. So when I do put a trolling motor, um, I just plug it in and we're good to go. Everything's already wired to the back. Um, where those boots are, that's just an extra space. I can put another battery in there. If there's a plug in, I hook the two cables up and the whole front of the boat has power. Um, only other thing I can think of is I do have these quick fist to hold my push pole. Um, I'm gonna upgrade those in the future. These are just what came on the boat. I'm gonna do the three clamp style like you see most of the pro guides do down in Florida. Um, and then I keep all my, my goody goods in the bucket. I've got a tray that keeps it. Let's see here, let's go through here real quick. Um, in my bucket, I've got the tray. This is where I keep my grandpa, my gloves, uh, spare arm. This is actually my actual reel. My tools, uh, nail knot, line cutters, extra line, my horn. I've got, let's see what else I got in here. I got some pliers, my uh, bison tie down straps, and I've also got a uh, headlamp. And then in the bottom, I keep my first aid kit, my spare reel, uh, spools of line, and then that's where I'm also going to keep stuff like uh, I got to carry since I'm fishing on the ocean. I believe I have to have a flare kit. So that's, I'm going to put my flare kit in here too. The cool thing about this cooler, it was with the thing, it will float for just a little bit long enough for me to, uh, swim, you know, if I do flip the boat or sink the boat long enough for me to swim over there, get my phone out of it. I do have a waterproof case for my phone that I keep in there, and then my fly box that I have in the house currently, because I've been tying flies, I usually just set it on top or set it somewhere in the boat where I can have access to it. But other than that, I'm glad you came along. It's a simple, simple boat. Um, everything, as you see, is how it is all the time. Like this little light never moves. Like it doesn't. Like it's not like a bass, but where you pull it out, put it in a hole, or a, a, a front deck, whatever latch space, cubby hole. I forgot what it was called. Anywho, back to the story. Um, this boat, brand new, will cost about fourteen five. Rigged out just like this. Uh, here's the grab bar. As you can tell, I wasn't a fan of it, so it just sits there for now until I figure out what I want to do with it. But yeah, no, it's a, it's a fishing machine. I got my, uh, got my fly rod, my big one. I got my small one. And then I've got a spinning rod. But yeah, you can carry three people or up to 430 pounds. So it's a, 
it's it's not bad. I I really enjoyed it. I've been out on it a few times. I should have made this video when I bought it, but you know, life happens. I get like a second to go fishing. I get away from the wife and the kiddo, which is, I mean, it's not a bad thing, but you, you get what I'm saying. You dads out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it does come on a magic tilt trailer, which is fully galvanized. And I believe, yes, the axle going across is stainless steel. Uh, no, actually, this is an aluminum trailer. And that is galvanized steel down there at the bottom. So, yeah, that's the kind of trailer we got. Super light. Uh, drains very, very well. I'm freaking thrilled to have this. Uh, hopefully, I won't have to add, like, seven axles like my last boat. But other than that... That is my, uh, this is my boat. Thanks for coming along, even though it's short, sweet. We will see you guys on the next episode. Hopefully, it'll either be camping. Oh, yes, it'll be a truck video because, uh, we're doing swing outs. We're doing swing outs on the truck. We're getting rid of the tailgate. Um, I did put some covers, but this, this is a boat video. I digress. But anywho, thank you for watching. We will see you on the next episode. Deuces!